常我都会就是把卢克股市跟他们介绍。如果说你将来要打职业，或是你已经在走职业这条路的话，你可以把它当成一个例子做参考。我都会这样跟他们去分享我跟卢克的这个经验。The guys, especially the Western guys, and obviously where I'm from, who I work with, they're, they're a little bit、uh, lax with their training. They, they they like to relax a little bit more. I don't I don't believe they have his work ethic.、Um, I think he's、uh, you know he is someone that a lot of the professional players should look up to because of just the way how hard he works. You know he wants he feels that he has to work hard to get where he wants to be. 应该是零六年之后，我们就有那种 team 的概念。对，所以我们每次出去，尤其像大赛的时候，你会看到我们的包厢里面，就可能除了有教练之外，我们有时候会请我们的呃体能训练师，然后甚至专业的防护员一定都会跟在旁边。对，然后最主要就是要保护我们的选手嘛。这次我请了这个教练来，再重新的去去调整这些东西，我觉得他给我蛮多。不同的想法、啊，怎么样去重新再去审视这比赛的一个内容？我觉得这对我来讲是是蛮蛮蛮重要。那我觉得这样子的话，反而我对比赛的那种感觉跟追求又又有新鲜感。Well, he's been professional for so many years, but he's still open to listening to new ideas. And for me. You know, 32, 33. It's, it's not really、um, old. Federer's still getting better. What Federer did this year will show what Randy can do also. My professional life is constantly looking for these things. I'm saying that at 34, I'm looking for what I'm looking for. I'm looking for these problems on the court. I'm looking for new changes and improvements. If it doesn't work, how can I improve it? 那我怎么样去利用这些问题？我只能够说他是我最棒的 manager， 啊，帮我打理所有的行程，然后我教练的问题，然后防护员问题，体能训练师的问题，其实都是他去处理，去去帮我一手打理，所以让我有就是很专心的可以在球场上。去做好每一个训练，然后每一场比赛，所以我非常感谢，就是对我的一个支持跟所作所为吧。那还是一样，我觉得在我心目中他是应该是最好的经纪人，作为哥哥也是最好的哥哥。